Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these really cute, tiny beaded toadstools. I already have a video on my channel for a bigger toadstool if you want to check that out. But today I'm going to show you how to make one of these, so let's get started. So to make one of these you're going to need some size 11 seed beads in red and size 11 seed beads in white and you'll also need size 11 seed beads in a lighter beige colour. You will also need your thread and I'm using six band fire line and your beading needle and I think that's it, let's get started. So I've threaded my needle, I've done about just one arm's length of thread and we'll start by picking up four beads and I'm just going to be adding the white beads in uh, randomly, pick up two red, one white and one more red. So I've got four beads and slide those down. Leave a few inches just to sew back in at the end. And then you're going to go up through that first bead so that you have this. Now you're going to pick up one red and you're going to go into the next bead next to the one you're coming out of. Same again, pick up one red and you're going to go into that next bead which is a white one going to pick up another red coming out of this white one here I'm going to go into the next one in the circle and this time I'm going to pick up a white bead and coming out of this one here you're going to go into the last one in the circle and also into that one above so we're ready to start the next row so you're going to go through those two beads now you should have this this time we're going to be putting two beads between all of those four we added last time. So I'm going to start with a white and a red. And I'm coming out of this one. I'm going to skip over that one underneath and go into the next one on the corner. This time I'm going to pick up two red beads. Coming out of this one, skip that white one underneath and go through the next one. And the same again, pick up two red beads, skip the next one and go through the one on the corner. And pick up your last two red beads and you're coming out of this white one, you're going to skip that next one, go through the one after that. Like that. And also up into that next bead. So for this row, we're going to be placing a bead between those groups of two that we added on the last row and also in the spaces that separate them as well. So we're between a group of two right now, so I'm going to pick up one red and go straight into that next bead. Now I'm going to pick up another red bead and we're coming out here, we're going to skip that one and go through the next bead. Now I'm going to pick up a white bead and I'm between a group of two again, so I'm going to go straight into that next bead. And I'm going to do another white, coming out of this one, I'm going to skip the one underneath and go through the next one. So I'm between that group of two again, so I'm going to go pick up my red bead and I'm going to come at this one straight into that one next to it. And I'm going to pick up a, oh not that one, I'm going to pick up a red bead and coming out of this one, skip over that one underneath and go through the next one. Now I'm between a group of two and I'm going to pick up a white bead this time 
go straight into the next bead. And this is the last bead of the round, so I'm going to pick up one more red bead. I'm coming out of this one right here. I'm going to skip that one underneath, go through the next white one, and also into that red one, the first one we added in this row. And pull it tight. So now we're back to just adding a single bead in between all of those that we added in the last row. So we're going to be filling in all of these gaps. So I'm going to start with a white bead. Coming out of this one, I'm going to skip that one, go through the next one. Pick up a red one this time. I'm going to skip that one underneath and go through the next one. Pick up another red one and go through the next one on the top row. Skip over the one underneath, through the next one. And I'm going to pick up a white one, skip that one underneath and go through the next one. And keep doing this all the way around. So when you get to the last bead of the row, you can do the same again. So skip the one underneath, go through the next one, but also step up into that bead above. So you're ready to start the next row. Right. Okay, so for the next row we're going to do the same again. So we're putting one bead in between those that we added in the row below. I'm going to start with the red one. So I'm coming out of this white one, I'm going to skip the one underneath, go through the next one on the top row. And again, pick up one, skip over one and go through the next bead on the top row. Oops. And then we do that again, pick up a red one, skip that white one underneath and go through the next red one in the circle. And again, another red one, I'm gonna go through that next one on the top row. And you're gonna keep doing this peyote stitch all the way around. Just going through the beads on the top row. So I'm going to get a white one there, and again when you get to the last one in the row, like I am here, you're going to do the same again. So just skip over one, go through the next one, but also step up into that bead above. And then pull it really tight and it should start to close, start to close up now into a little cup. So we're going to do that same thing one more time. Another row of skipping the one underneath and going through the next one, adding one bead each time. So I'm going to start with a white, I'm going to skip the next red bead underneath and go through the following bead which is on the top row. Pick up another one And I'm going to go through the next bead on the top row. I'm going to keep doing that. Pick up one, skip the one underneath and go through the next one. I'm going to do that all the way around. Don't forget to keep adding your white beads in randomly. Okay, so I've added all of the beads apart from this last one, so I'm going to skip over the one underneath, go through the next one on the top row, and then step up into that white one which was the first one I added in this row. Pull it really tight. And you should have this. Okay, so now we're moving on to our beige beads. or and we're going to be picking one up each time doing the same thing again so coming out of this one skip that one underneath go through the next one but also go through the next one on the top row after that without picking up another bead you see that? 
so you're going through the next two on the top row and that's going to leave a bridge of thread here and when you pull it tight those two beads are going to close together and it's going to bring the piece smaller again. So that bead we just added sits in that space and then we've got our thread coming through here. So now we're going to do the same again. So we're going to pick up another of our beige beads. So we're coming out here, we're going to skip the one underneath through the next one and the one after that like that and you're going to do that two more times so skip over one go through the next two beads on the top row so that thread sits there I'm going to pick up the bead I'm coming out of this one, I'm going to go through the next one and the one after that. And then as always we're going to step up into that bead above so we're ready to start the next row. So make sure you give this one a really good pull tight before you carry on. So for this row we're just going to be adding one beige bead between those four that we just did in the row below. So pick up your first one, coming out of this one you're going to go into the next of the beige beads. Same again, pick up one and go into the next one on the corner. And again pick up one, go into the next beige bead. And finally pick up the last one, go into the next one and the one after that. Pull it really tight and it should close up like this. So now you're going to circle through those last four beads that we added, the four right in the centre, just to bring them all together. And see how they just close together. Make this perfect right angle weave unit. So now you've got two choices about how you want to add the little um, stalk. You can do it like this, which is carrying on with peyote stitch. Oops. Or you can do is this, yeah, you can do right angle weave, which looks like this. So. I'm going to be showing you how to do peyote, but if you know how to do right angle weave already and you prefer how that looks, then you can go ahead and do that. You've got your starting point here in the middle, these four beads. But I'm going to show you how to do it like this. <laughs> so we're going to be working with these four beads that we just added coming out of this one. Pick up one of your beige beads and go straight into the next one. Pick up another one and go straight into the next one in that group of four. Pick up another one, go straight into the next one. And last one, do the same thing again. Go into that last bead in that group of four can be a bit tight and then step up into that first bead we added and now you're going to be putting one bead in between those four so pick up one go through the next one on the corner same again pick up one go through the next one on the corner Pick up one, go through the next one on the corner, and last one, go through the one on the corner and up into that bead above. Now you can actually make your uh, stalk as long as you want. I usually do um, three rows, so I'm going to do one more row. 
So do the same thing again. Pick up one, go into the next bead on the top row, and do that four times. And then even though it's the last one, you're going to step up into that bead on the top. And then when you've finished, you're going to circle through the last four beads that you added to bring them together. So they close together like that. And that is our finished tight stool. So now all you need to do is tie your knot, so I'll just show you how I tie a knot. So I'm going to move my thread back down through a few beads first so it doesn't come loose. So I'm coming out of this bead right here. I'm going to take my needle under this thread, pull it down go through the loop two times and then pull it tight until you feel the knot tighten and then move your needle along a few beads and the knot should hide inside one of the beads. So tie as many knots as you can and then I'll meet you back here. So that's how Toadstool's all finished and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I hope you're able to make one of these really adorable. <laughs> tiny trade stores which would make great earrings, bracelets, charms, key rings, anything like that, pendants and if you do make one I'd love to see um, tag me on Instagram at Beading by Hannah and follow me there and like this video if you enjoyed and comment down below what else you'd like to see and subscribe to see more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time, bye!